Hello Gappy Lovers! Welcome back to my channel! And today's video, I'm going to show you my new studio for my fishes. Yes! But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. In that way, you'll be notified for my upcoming videos. Alright, let's start! Before anything else, uh, before I give you guys a tour, I just want to say that this video is basically a request of one of my followers in on my Instagram and I want to make sure I covered everything. All right, let's start the tour. Okay, so let's begin in here. Okay, so I have a very simple setup. I don't really like a lot of decoration since I'm breeding guppies, mollies, and sword tail platies. So I tried to have like a minimal uh, decorations or actually I don't have decorations except the fake plants. Yes, yeah, so I have a simple setup. So I have a heater sponge filter and this sponge filter is uh it will filter up to 60 gallon okay that's the large um, size and this aquarium is 15 gallon oh no i'm sorry i'm wrong this is 10 gallon and in here i have this tub i got this at home depot Okay, so this is a 27 gallon tub and then I also have sponge filter, fake plants, okay, so it's very minimal and then also a heater and in here I have guppies, I have a green dragon, purple mosaic guppies and magenta mosaic guppies and here's the babies, okay, so since I put the fake plants over there, they just keep breeding. They keep giving birth. So those are the babies. And then some of them I already released because they're big enough to swim with their parents. Okay. And then in here, I have the same setup. This is also guppies. It's mix of black guppies, um, tuxedo guppies, blue tuxedo guppies, 
and then also um, I have a uh, blue grass guppies in here only a few okay and same thing here's the babies not not as much because a lot of the guppies here are still young okay and I also have a three sword tail in here they grew up together so I just let them be okay and here's the fake plants okay and I use um, Tetra um, air pump for one valve it goes to two tubs okay so this two and you see the flow it's actually really good and then the other side the other valve goes to here and there okay in here the same setup okay i have a sponge filter um santa guppies i have santa guppies here and also um a, a coral platy and then here i have um rainbow guppies and you see all their most of their babies are big and then the new ones are there okay i need to clean that sorry there's a lot of um food so i need to clean this and then right there i'm using a fake plants okay and then i have a heater and then here these are my standard guppies okay same as here this is most of these are standard guppies and here as well okay and then also with uh, coral platy sponge filter and then um, heater okay so the heater guys I use um, a couple of heater but not all of them are good so I'm probably gonna make a separate video for that but in but most of my heaters are from Aquatop so far they're doing really really well okay okay and then here I have a small one so far for a small size like this can filter or can yeah can filter it up to two tubs okay so this one goes to here and then the aquarium so let's go to the other side and here's my molly this is actually my first tub before i start breeding okay so some of these babies are ready to go to the other side to a bigger tub and then in here i use a tetra whisper filter i love this filter since i came here to us i've been using that type of filter and it works fine okay the reason why i didn't do to all of them because fill a sponge filter is cheaper and at least for an air pump that size can can filter it up to four tubs and then in here I have a Java moss okay this is really good because sometimes I don't put the the pregnant um, molly in here sometimes I just let them give birth in there and then all the babies are safe I mean at least most of them okay this side is also um, sponge filter okay in here I have a big ear uh, big ear Dumbo mosaic guppies and then in here I have a big ear a dark big ear Dumbo leopard guppies okay and babies okay this tub is I believe it's 18 gallon and then same 27 gallon 27 gallon So here the other side this is the garage so I have a 300 gallon tub 
for my koi and goldfish. And there they are. Same thing, I have a sponge filter, but this filter are extra large. So it can filter up to, I believe, 150 gallon each. Okay. And then here, this is my experiment. I have a friend that also um, uh, breed fishes, and she have an aquarium. Uh, he have an aquarium that he never cleans it. He never do anything to it. He just add water, and I did the same thing. I just want to try see if it works, and so far it did work. I have goldfish. I have a swordtail that jump from here. So it's still alive. I have mosquito fish. I have a crawdad. It's right there. It's still alive. And they're doing fine. Surprisingly. Yeah. They're alive. I don't I don't clean that. I just add water. And here I have a albino guppies here. Okay. Same setup. 27 gallon fake plants um, sponge filter okay and then here um, here's my 55 gallon tank very minimal I only have a fake plants there for the babies I have one beta sword tail black mollies um, gold dust mollies and balloon mollies and regular mollies. This side, I'm resetting this side because it turned green like this and I can't see the fish. And I wanna see the fish, I wanna see their condition. So I, next week I'm gonna reset this like this one. So the fish here are actually here, see? So these are my breeder. I have balloon mollies, sword tail mollies, lyre tail mollies, and black mollies. And then, so this is my my setup for the baby mollies, including the sword tail and some platies. So whenever I have a new baby like those, I put them in here. And then once they grow bigger, like medium size then I transfer it here and once they become full grown and that's when I put them in that tank okay this is 38 gallon and that's 55 gallon and then this is my bathtub I use this for my blue tuxedo guppies okay they're not blue at the moment. I don't know, maybe because of the tub, it's white. And then, see, there's a lot of babies here. They already start breeding and giving birth. A lot of them are pregnant, actually. Okay. And here's my red-tailed Dumbo uh, guppies. Not as much. There's only a few of them. And then here I have um, magenta guppies. So those are the babies, okay? So I have the same setup for most of them. I use a sponge filter. Okay, and then for the food, I'm using this one. Um, this is for the guppies and Here's the package. Oh, it's inside. It's right here. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it. Okay. It's Aquamaster. That's the one. Okay. And then also this one. I use this for for all of them actually. For guppies, mollies, goldfish, koi. Okay, and this is my main food. Okay, so what I do is for the babies, I shred them. I put them into here, 
my blender okay and turn them into powder and then I have my Pleco food and I use stuff in water conditioner and then I use brine okay and then this is the filter the cartridge for my um, touch her whisper okay okay and then also I want to add this because this is one of the question um, where did I get this I got this in Walmart in uh, in their uh, fabric section this is very cheap okay so I use this for my mollies because they do jump some of them not all and then same thing as here the reason why I put um, net in here too because since this is a small tub I I always raise the water really high all the way to the top and most likely they will jump that's why I, I put a cover in it okay before I end this video I want to add a couple of um, questions that was asked to me on my Instagram like how many times do I feed my fish I only feed them once a day um, for the babies I'll do up to twice a day but mostly once a day okay because most of my tubs they have a um, there's a lot of fish per tub and I don't want to overfeed them because then it, then it's gonna create a lot of problem that's why I only feed them once a day okay and also what do I what do I use um, for breeding um, net or box so this is what I use okay so I use this um, toughen mesh um, breeder box I know it's very open so the mom can still eat the babies so what I normally do is I added a java moss inside so that the babies can hide okay so this is the only breeder box that I use and also for the heater I most of my tubs use aquatop okay so this is proven and tested that uh, it works there are some uh, there are some um, brands that didn't really work very well some of them just died some of them doesn't heat up some of them build a lot of calcium so I stopped using them and then I switched to Aquatop because at least it's not that expensive compared to like Fluvo or other brands out there. It's in between cheap and expensive. So I recommend uh, Aquatop. And just a disclaimer guys, none of this are sponsored, okay? This is based on my experience. Everything you see here is based on my experience, okay? Um, I've been breeding um, fishes like uh, koi, goldfish, guppies, mollies, swordtail, uh, platys, even betas. I've been breeding them since when I was a kid. Okay, I hope you guys like the tour and like the videos. I hope I answer all the questions, okay? But if you have more questions, feel free to comment down below. Uh, you can also message me on my Instagram, gappy underscore girl 143, okay? And uh don't forget to subscribe like and share and also hit the notification bell and be kind and love your fishes and i'll see you guys on my next vlog bye